we are going to create some preliminary section views. You can see I have one building section done so far. Uh, I'm going to put in a second one, so I'm under the View tab, Section, and I'm going to cut through the center. So I'll click here and out here. And I'm going to cycle that symbol through so we get an arrow on both sides, just like we do for the other building section. And I'm going to change my view direction down here. I want to look that way. And you can play with the view depth here so that you see, control what you see and what you don't. We'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so now I'm going to go to uh, one of these sections. I'll go to section the first building section, and there it is set up. Um, the underside of piles shows here. We just are not in place to view them all. This is the other uh, building section symbol that we just created. If we don't want to see it in our building section, we can right click and hide that element. Okay, so that's hidden from our view. Now I'm going to zoom over to this side of the building where I've at some point I'm going to want a wall section through here. And so let's create that wall section from the building section. And so again, still under the view tab, we go to call out, click on call out, and I'm going to do a selection for the bubble. And I click once and come up to where I want it to show. And I have to visualize how much room I might need, but this is a preliminary bubble here. So I click on that. That sets up my wall section and you can see uh, it created, we were in building section one and it created call out of building section one. So let's go there. And there it is. Uh, and you can see it looks pretty empty. It's just the wall section. Uh, you can, s let's adjust it here. We want it scale to be one to 20 for the wall section. And I'm going to change the view uh, rate uh, level to fine so we can see everything in there. So our text is the right scale now and we can see everything that we need to see. And if we need to bring that boundary up, we can. There's no problem. We can adjust how much we need to see of the building right here. Okay. Okay, so that's good. It's called Call Out of Building Section 1. I don't like that name, so I'm going to rename it right now. And I'm going to call it uh, Wall Section 1. Okay, so it's Wall Section 1. Now, further to that, I would like to have some details at these connections. So, still in the View tab, pick Call Out, and we'll zoom in, and we're going to do a detail at the roof. So, I'm just looking about how much of the building I would like to see there. Click on that. And you can see now, created from the wall section was Call Out of Wall Section 1. And before I go to that one, let's finish our call outs for the other details. And again, I'm just going to eyeball how much of the building I need to see. So that's call out 2 of wall section 1. And we continue. Call out 3. And I'm going to do one down at the foundation. And 4. So now in that wall section, we have references to those details. <coughs> Let's go to the first one. And I can go there by clicking on call out of wall section one, or I can double click right on the circle. And that takes me to call out of wall section one. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust this to fine, and the scale is at one to ten already, so we're good. And we'll add some detail to this later, but I'm happy with that. If I go to uh, section call out number two, double click on that we can rename that. Oh, let's go back to number one and rename that to, I'm just going to call it uh, detail and then roof. Okay, detail roof. And call it number two, we'll go to that one. Change its level to fine. The scale is correct. And I'm going to rename that one detail level 2 and likewise continue down the group change that to fine and rename that one detail 
level one. And finally, detail level zero. So we're set up now, if I go back to my building section, uh, you can see that the wall section is taken from there. If I double click on that, it takes me to the wall section. The wall section has four details referenced from it, and I can go to each one of those individually. Eventually, we're going to put those details on a page. So just for an example here, I'll put the roof detail uh, up at the top. And detail level one, maybe I'll drag in here. And we would just play with our layout until we're happy with it. And adjust the size and viewability back in the original.